Hello students. Today we will discuss improve your learning for the lesson movements in animals. That is fourteenth lesson. Look at the first question, children. Imagine a situation where you have no bone in your body. Describe with reasons what would happen. So, if we don't have bones in our body, what is going to happen? We will explain in the answer. Look at the answer, children. Bones and muscles help us perform different movements and activities. So, whatever the movement or activities we want to do, so they can be done when we have bones and muscles. So, bones give a definite structure to our body. If there are no bones, then the body cannot get a structure. It will be just like a ball of flesh. The body parts cannot do any work without the bones in the body. So, like this, you have to explain. We'll see the next second question. Try and identify the joints in the body of a goat or a cow. Make a list of these joints. So, we'll identify the joints in the goat and cow now look at the answer the joints present in the body of a goat or a cow are first one ball and socket joint hinge joint neck or pivotal joint and last one is fixed joint next third question what difficulties would you face if your fingers had only a single bone if there is a single bone in our fingers, what would happen? We'll see now. The human skeleton is made up of many bones. Bones cannot bend. So these bones have joints between them. We can move various parts of our body because of these joints. If they, we don't have these joints, we cannot move any body part. So here, fingers have hinge joints in them to pick up things. If fingers have only a single bone, then we cannot bend them and perform any activities in our daily life. Yes. Next question. Fourth one. What is a ball and socket joint? How it is different from hinge joint? So, we will explain. Ball and socket joint. This joint is like a ball fitting into Fitting into a socket is called a ball and socket joint. In this joint, a bone can rotate easily in all directions. So, the bone can rotate easily in all directions like a ball moving around. So, this joint can be moved in all directions. Next, hinge joint. A joint where two bones are joined with a hinge like structure. Here it folds in one direction only. It can open and close. So like this there is a difference between it. Ball and socket joint can rotate or move in all directions. Hinge joint only front and back. That is open and close. Next fifth question. Fifth question here are some of the fill in the blanks. And we have to give the reasons. So first blank. Joints of the bone help in the movement of body parts so the joints of the bone help in the movement of the body parts so we'll give the reason why it is like that we have to perform several activities in our daily life like catching picking pulling pushing lifting running etc so all these activities are not possible without the joints so if there are no joints we cannot do all these activities so if our hand is a big bone without a joint we cannot do any work with it so hence joints are necessary next second blank the contraction of the muscles pulls the bones during movement so here contraction of the muscles only pulls the bones during the movement will give the reason muscles surround the bones in our body 
to move a particular bone we have to use the muscle surrounded there to lift our hand we use hand muscles next third question the bones at the elbow are joined by a hinge joint so here at the elbow which joint is present hinge joint is present the elbow can be folded in one direction only as it has hinge joint next sixth question here guess who am i so here is a question i am a joint that works like joint of doors and window so the doors and window it works like a door and window joint so it is a hinge joint i help to join two bones two bones can be joined with the help of the ligaments next joint between upper jaw and skull it is a fixed joint next i am a chain of small small bones it is a backbone i join bone and muscle bone and muscle can be joined with the help of the tendon next question seventh question collect x ray films and identify which body parts they represent write a note on them so collect the x ray so when we are taking the x ray the x ray films are the images of the body part exposed with x rays so in x rays muscles and flesh do not appear only bones will be seen in the x ray because x rays does not enter bones hence x rays are used to find the fractures that is the breakages of bones for the further treatment next question prepare a questionnaire to take interview of a yoga teacher or pt sir about asanas and exercises so here is a questionnaire to the pt sir so we will ask some questions to the pt sir first question what are the daily exercises to do you can add number of questions here i have given you five questions what is the best exercise to lose body weight which exercises are the best for students of our age when should we do the exercises what are the benefits of the exercises like this you can add a number of questions next question ninth question crawling snake jumping frog flying bird are they amazing to you why you think so different animals use different body parts for their movement so all doesn't use the same body parts for their movement here every animal has its own specialized structure so we'll explain it now all animals do not use same body parts for their movement we see snake uses total body for crawling and moves so it moves the total body by crawling for its movement next frog uses its hind legs that is back legs to jump and birds use their wings to fly from one place to another place next is human beings use legs to move so it is amazing to see all this every organism body parts are specialized according to their way of living yes right next question 10th question list out the activities that you performed at your home before coming to school which joints are used in each activity so we'll see some of the activities daily which you are going to perform before coming to school like when you after waking up from the bed first thing what you are doing brushing bathing eating breakfast drinking milk getting ready to school doing homework walking to school crossing the road etc playing jumping and everything these are so many activities next joints involved in each activity so what are the joints involved for performing these activities we'll see now so for brushing we use fingers we use fingers connected with the hinge joint next for bathing moving the hand with ball and socket lifting the water lifting the water with mug with elbow which is also a hinge joint next is eating breakfast hinge joints of fingers and 
elbow. They help in eating the breakfast. Next is drinking milk. Fixed joint of upper jaw and movable joint of mouth. Next is watching. Watching anything, we move our head. So, we use neck joint. Next is the crossing the road using the joints of legs. So, like this, there are so many different joints which help in the movement of our body parts for performing different activities. Next question. 11th one. Which joints are involved in plucking flowers and making garlands? Ravi's mother asked, what is his answer? So, now we will explain what are the joints involved. For plucking flowers, hinge joints of fingers and elbow. And for making garlands, ball and socket joints of hand and hinge joints of fingers. They help in plucking of the flowers and making the garlands. And the last question is, 12th one. What is this instrument? How you use this? So, here this is an instrument they have given. So, this is the instrument called as dumbbell. It is used to build muscles. So, usually you can see this type of instruments in the gym for doing exercises, for lifting, weight lifting. So, it is available in different weights. According to the age, people use it. As per their requirement, they add the weights to it and they will use it for lifting. So, this is the question and answers for the 14th lesson, Movement in Animals. Okay, children, thank you.